Listen to the sound. This is actually one of my favorites with electric AMGs, but we'll come back to this later. The EQE SUV is another milestone in the electrification of our AMG portfolio. It is our very first fully electric SUV. Right after its two siblings, the EQE sedan and the EQS sedan. It offers plenty of space on the inside for the passengers and for the luggage. And of course, it drives like an AMG as well. This makes it the perfect all-rounder on-road and off-road. And we've got all the AMG attributes for our performance vehicles here in the front and in the design all around the car as well. So let's have a closer look. The front is dominated by the AMG black panel grille, which makes it unmistakable an AMG. Left and right, we've got our digital lights, which come as standard. And they also offer a really cool animation of our AMG logo when opening and closing the car. And on the hood, we now proudly wear our AMG crest for the first time on the EQ models. The front end design is completed by our AMG apron. We've got our typical AMG A-Wing look here and some nice big turbines on the side. These also have the air curtain effect. There are going to be two models of our fully electric AMG EQE SUV. One is going to be the EQE 43 Formatic and the second one is going to be the EQE 53 Formatic Plus, which we have with us today. And of course, the two models will live up to the AMG performance because they will have fully wearable all-wheel drive. This is due to the electric motors, which will be one on the front axle and one on the rear axle. Especially the 53 model has undergone some major technical changes for our AMG treatment and it now offers plenty of power. With the optional AMG Dynamic Plus package, during race start with boost you get up to 505 kilowatts which accelerates you to 100 in only 3.5 seconds, which is truly fascinating. Talking about the rear of the car, we have some more changes in aerodynamics here as well. For example, our rear diffuser here at the back. And beneath the rear bumper, we also have some more AMG specific modifications. We've got a loudspeaker to have our AMG sound performance also in the exterior. For our new AMG EQE SUV, we offer many AMG options, including three new wheel designs. We've got wheel designs in 21 and 22 inch, and this one is our 22 option. Speaking of the rear wheels, we also have rear wheel steering as standard with a steering angle of up to 9 degrees. This improves agile and performant driving in low and in high speeds. The EQE SUV shares the technical basis of its air suspension, the AMG Ride Control Plus, with its other siblings, the AMG EQ cars, obviously. But we also modified the system to the needs of an SUV. And on top to our air suspension, we now offer for the 53 for the first time an active anti-roll stabilization. It's called AMG Active Ride Control. And what it does, it connects the two halves of an anti-roll bar of each axle with each other or it disconnects them. It disconnects them to do not have any copying effects between the two wheels of one axle or it connects them to have more torsional stiffness and you can ensure a better turn in behavior when go on windy roads, for example, in the mountains. To complete the SUV look, we also offer as an option a running board that stretches from the rear to the front. And talking about braking performance here at the front, we have our AMG Performance brakes in steel as standard with brake calipers painted in silver, optionally in red, or for even more braking performance with bigger in diameter discs, our carbon ceramic brakes. These have brake calipers painted in bronze. And now let's jump in and have a look at the interior. Here in the interior, you can't miss our beautiful and wide hyperscreen. We've integrated our AMG-specific content here really, really nicely. For example, you can watch all the power being distributed between the front and the rear axle. And on top of that, we've got the AMG track pace as well, integrated in all three screens. And for the passenger side, we've got the new AMG screensaver. Sitting in the car, you'll find yourself in our AMG Sport Seats. 
These are available in four different material and color schemes. We are here in black Napa leather combined with a space gray upper dashboard. And a really cool nice detail is the AMG logo here and our AMG crest embossed in the headrest. Here in the driver's seat, you'll find yourself behind the AMG Performance steering wheel. And this one is our most sporty version yet. You've got the carbon and micro cut elements here. And of course, this also comes with our AMG steering wheel buttons. You can configure these by clicking the buttons or even add some parameters in the head unit. And with the right one, you can adjust the driving programs such as slippery or individual, as well as comfort, sport and sport plus. Typical for an EV, you can adjust the recuperation. We chose to do this with the gear shift pedals behind the steering wheel. You can do it in three different levels and the strongest, strongest one is up to 260 kilowatts of recuperation. And this allows for one pedal drive. In general, you'll get a really spacious and roomy feeling inside of here. That is among other things, thanks to the panoramic sunroof, which comes standard for the 53 model. We've got two new infotainment features for you. The first one is Sync, a platform that brings the in-car entertainment experience to a new level. And the second one is Dolby Atmos, which raises the audio experience. As you can see, we turned the EQE SUV into a true AMG in every respect, from our interior and exterior design highlights to our drivetrain, to our chassis, and even to our AMG sound performance. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it and see you soon. Bye.